Do you want to know the real reason why I've never considered becoming a paramedic? Despite doctors and paramedics being two incredibly similar professionals who both assess and treat patients with often serious medical issues, there are some key differences between them that told me going to medical school and becoming a doctor was definitely the right choice for me. So in this video, I'm gonna reveal why I personally never want to be a paramedic, how the two professions stack up against each other in real life and how you can decide which would be the best fit for you. But first, let me tell you a story about the time that Air Ambulance had to come to my work. Hi, I'm Dr. Ollie, a junior doctor based in the UK. When you hear the blades of a helicopter overhead in a medical scenario, you know two things. One, that patient is seriously unwell as the Air Ambulance has been sent out. And two, the cavalry has just arrived in the form of the Air Ambulance crew. I was actually walking to work at a rural GP practice when I saw an ambulance drive past me. I remember literally thinking, gosh, I really hope that isn't headed to my work because that's going to be a bad start to the morning. At the end of the road, I saw the ambulance take a left away from my practice and breathed a sigh of relief. That was until I walked through the front door of the GPs. I was immediately greeted by one of the practice nurses with her arms full of medical kit looking flustered. She told me there was a gentleman just down the road who'd collapsed after being stung by a wasp and was not in a good way. I grabbed an armful of the supplies she was holding and started to run down the street. When I arrived at the patient, the ambulance crew I'd seen drive past me was already on the scene performing CPR. They were treating the patient for anaphylaxis, as the story sounded like he'd had a severe allergic reaction to the wasp stings. In less than five minutes after my arrival, the air ambulance had landed and its crew took over control of the situation. An air ambulance team normally consists of a specialist pre-hospital doctor, a HEMS paramedic and the pilot. I could see from watching them together, they were an incredibly well-drilled team. Both the doctor and paramedic were bouncing ideas off each other and each clearly had a wealth of knowledge and experience in dealing with these critically unwell patients. In that scenario, there really wasn't a lot that separated them. The doctor was able to form a couple of advanced procedures that the paramedic may not have had as much experience with and the doctor was the final decision maker at a few crucial points, but broadly they were both doing the same job. If they hadn't been wearing their badges with their name and role on it, it would have been incredibly difficult to tell who was who. So what is it that really sets doctors and paramedics apart then? I'd suggest it comes down to three main differences. The first of which would say I should have never met another doctor at the scene of the anaphylaxis patient in the first place. It's because as a rule of thumb, doctors generally only work in hospitals or GP practices, while paramedics generally only work on ambulances. As you've already seen, it's by no means a hard and fast rule. There are doctors who work in first response vehicles or helicopters, and I've worked at a GP practice that employed two paramedics to see and treat patients in much the same way a GP would. However, the majority of doctors do work in primary or secondary care, and the majority of paramedics do work pre-hospitally. This has a lot of knock-on effects for the day-to-day -day life of each profession. Working from the back of an ambulance, paramedic respond to calls from every walk of life and every type of person. They have an unfiltered exposure to the general public and attend everything from sort of hair raising, adrenaline pumping trauma cases, all the way to a social call from an elderly lady. Being the first to arrive on a scene where someone is in desperate need of your skill set is actually something that massively appeals to me. It's definitely not the reason that I didn't become a paramedic. But while paramedics have the unique privilege of being able to parachute in someone's life to give them medical care, it can also put them in a lot of danger. As a doctor, you're far more likely to interact with the patient in a more controlled and sort of calm environment in which you're far less likely to come to harm. The truth is that training to become a doctor is far longer than that to become a paramedic. And if you include postgraduate training, it just seems to never end. Medical school takes at least two years longer to complete compared to a paramedic degree. And as a doctor, you can expect to be a trainee for up to 10 years after graduating, depending on what specialty you choose. While paramedics will undertake postgraduate training, it isn't anywhere near as long. As much as I was a bit of a nerd at school, getting to study for longer is not what drew me to medicine over becoming a paramedic. But those extra years of study do give doctors the base of knowledge necessary to be able to operate in a slightly different way medically to paramedics. This encapsulates the third key difference and is really why I ended up choosing medicine over paramedicine. 
Let me explain. When I was working in the GP practice that employed the two paramedics as part of the team, we'd get together once a week to discuss any interesting patients we'd seen. It was in these discussions that we'd chat a bit about the case and get to explore each other's clinical reasoning. It's in these discussions that the difference between our approaches to certain patients was most evident. Paramedics are experts at dealing with trauma and acutely unwell people at the scene of a crash or wherever it may be. In these situations, because your heart is going at a million miles an hour and you can hardly think because of all the adrenaline rushing around your body, you want to be able to fall back on a system you can rely on. This is why paramedics use a lot of protocols in their work. These are sort of like flow diagrams for what you should do with a patient. If they're choking, do this. If they're still choking, then this. If they die, this. You, you get the picture. Us doctors, however, often have the luxury of a bit more time to think. From our years at medical school, we also have the background anatomy, physiology, and even biochemical knowledge to almost reason out things that we might not fully understand at first. It's using this clinical acumen that we can be sure what the right thing to do for a patient would be, even though it's not explicitly written as the next step of a protocol. Although not fun at the time, there does turn out to be a point to all those lectures at medical school. I'd say this is my main reason for choosing to become a doctor over a paramedic. Studying medicine gives you that foundational knowledge that you can then build your clinical practice on. It's how a doctor can deal with a situation that they've never seen before and there isn't any written guidance for. But you do pay the price for it in those long hours in the library. So how can you decide whether becoming a doctor or a paramedic would be best for you? It's definitely not an easy decision. If you want the high octane, major casualty stuff, then you want to go the paramedic route. Even better, the helicopter paramedic route. You'll see far more major trauma as a paramedic than the vast majority of doctors. But you can get there through medicine too. It will just take you a bit longer. One of the biggest strengths of medicine is its versatility. You can be that doctor jumping out of a helicopter to treat a knife crime victim at night, while also being a GP, anaesthetist or A&E consultant by day. Medicine opens a huge range of doors that you just won't have access to as a paramedic that you can then use to mix and match your career as you see fit. Ultimately, I do think they are both incredible professions, but in my totally unbiased and balanced opinion, choose medicine.